down to the deck, up the stairs, behind the old laundry room, and we collect up on the uh, car park. Is that right, Amy? He's nodding at me furiously, so I've got that right. Thank you. Um, the, it's good to have you back, Emmy. <laughs> Um, is that also, I just wanted to let you know, the toilets are just out the door to your left and behind uh, the, the lift belt is the ladies and, and gentlemen's toilets and um, we're not expecting any drills today so if there is a fire alarm, it is uh, real, please exit in a safe manner and there will be people with hats and wardens there to, to guide us. like this. Um, I'm Alice Clark, for those of you who don't know me, and I have the privilege of being the director of the production centres, which uh, hosts within it the JKMRC and the BRC. Uh, a couple of geologists I'll point out there in the back. In the BRC, it's wonderful to find have um, a, a strong representation of their geological contention uh, based here at the uh, Andrew Kelly site. I want to take this opportunity to make special mention of some of our distinguished guests here today, in particular uh, Emeritus Professors Alvin Lynch, um, who all of you will know, and uh, of course Don McKee, who you also know. Don is also the Chairman of the Board of Trustees for the Ian Morley Prize, and Don's also the founder of, of the SMI, and so it's wonderful to have uh, you gentlemen here with us today. Two other trustees who are not with us today, but send um, their congratulations to the recipient and absentee are Peter Menahan and Barry Mathias, who uh, I had the privilege of uh, working for in my early days at Mount Isa. So um, wonderful to see that they're still so connected to the JKMRC. I um, also want to acknowledge Ian Morley's family, his son, Don Morley, and daughter, um, Corlin's daughter, who maintain a very keen interest and have asked for the video cast notes and photographs from today's celebration to be sent to them, and, and we will certainly um, uh, take care of that. And I also want to acknowledge our um, SMI Institute Director, Professor uh, Neville Clint, who joined us fresh from the plain of Melbourne and um, uh, has uh, altered his uh, plans to be here today for that, such as the prestige of this uh, particular event. Um, the annual Morley Prize is very much the fabric of the JK Centre and it's a really important student experience when you come through the JK MSC. It holds in its annual names dating back to 1990 of students who after completing their important research here have uh, gone on to achieve great things. Um, I want to acknowledge um, also uh, Mary's Professor Tanaku Man who uh, provides great assistance in um, uh, the preparation and the pulling together of the Morley uh, Prize. Thank you, Tim, for that. In a moment, uh, we're going to hear from uh, Professor McKee when he announces the recipient and also gives uh, some history on the background of the prize and also uh, from Professor Lynch. Uh, and I thank you in advance for that. But I just want to take a moment to talk about the strength of the student contingent here um, at the, the Joe Cambridge in particular and more broadly across the SMI. Uh, you truly are the powerhouse of what we do here. Um, without you, the advances that we make just wouldn't be possible. I've gotten to know um, almost all of you, a few new ones have come. And it just gives me such great confidence in terms of the future of the JKMSC to see such talent coming up from our student pool. And I know that you'll benefit a great deal from the skills that you'll gain here um, and that you'll go on to remember fondly being part of the JK family. This year is the 27th presentation. And this prize recognises uh, all-round performance. So there's the academic side of things and that's very important. But this prize also recognises the life that you bring to the JKMSC. And professionals who are academics or industry background will know that that's a successful career is based on all-round performance. So that's a very important part of the Ian Morley Prize. Um, 
It's more than just a byline on your CV, and it's more than just the financial reward that you get. This prize does speak to having come from the Sustainable Minerals Institute, and in particular the world-renowned JKMSC. I'd like to now hand over to Dr. Key so we can get to the good stuff and find out who's won. I beg your pardon to Alvin. <laughs> Thank you, Alvin.
We could never have guessed in 1990 that Ian's legacy would become the well-known Morley Prize. Long may it continue. Congratulations to the person who receives the Ian Morley Prize. Thank you.
less than mine. I'm just back to the last night from a trip to the University of Cape Town. I was there to part of a review team of the Minerals Gematics activity, now run by Deep Branch, established by Jacob Francis, and many of you know, now run by Deep, and more of them. Um, and the link between the mineral processing side that J.K. Centre and University of Cape Town goes back pretty close to 25 years, I suppose. In my time, at least, by far the best connection of the JK and any other expert group by a country mile. I suspect it probably still is. It had a lot of characteristics which meant it actually worked, like most collaborations which have attempted. It's true to be known for us. So there's a legacy of the JK and what effects there. What really interested me, and I guess pleased me, was to see how SMI, three or four parts of SMI, are starting to do the same thing. Uh, the first one related to a, the very first postgrad student in the Water Centre, Nadia Kunz, is her name. And I lost all track of Nadia until I caught up, not with her personally, some of their activities now on a worldwide scale to deal with water, governments, which is a specific She's got a career which is going like that. You just think, wow, that's the water centre and SMI now sort of established. Uh, the second one related to um, CSO and social responsibility in mind, where the work of David Bird and now Deanna Kent is absolutely out there world stage in the area in which they operate. Uh, my fellow reviewer who knows a bit about this side of things, but it's not paper for the day, said this is the best activity of its type in the world. And the third one related to the risk management work introduced by Jim Joy, uh, which is picked up by Anglo in a safety context with that by Anglo American, never of course knows all about this. Spun out through Anglo with a wider Anglo, it's starting to make a platinum product. Um, but it's now been picked up by one of Jim's disciples in South Africa and spread much more widely in interesting ways. So there's a little bit of the legacy starting. I think those three things history, uh, traditions, and legacy are all part of what makes something have genuine class. Clearly, the JK has that, it's had that from its house. <coughs> Just delighted to see that this is now also starting to flow through uh, in the wider SMI. Now that's maybe a little bit off the track, but I thought it might be worth sharing with you. In particular, for Neville to hear some of those things as he comes to his new, his new role. So that's that. Um, it's now my pleasant job to announce the winner of the Norway Prize for this year. Tradition hand has it that I'm Whoever stands up and does this is handed a very short little paragraph. And then, well, there it is. <laughs> um, fortunately, uh, as they say, when I went to school in the grade 12 senior in English, we were taught the art of tracing, um, which those of you who don't know what that means, it's like a long time like that and try and <laughs> reduce it to a few words. Uh, so, I'll announce the winner and then give you a very selective little uh, take on this. Winner of the Ian Morley Prize for 2016 is Mayor.
others who don't. Okay, I like the sense and PhD at the JK has been more than usually problematic. Well, <laughs> with several changes in topic and medical supervisor, which she has handled in an exceptionally professional manner. And I have to say that says my head a lot about my own. Most PhDs are problematic when they start out. If it keeps coming for a while, it makes it more difficult. Uh, Mayla showed exceptional leadership policies. Here's one for you, Al. The project she worked on was funded by CSIRO Minerals and the JKMRC. <laughs> well, holy Moses, um, Alvin can tell you a story or two about collaboration with the JK <laughs> going back over 50 years, and so could I and Tim and various other people. Um, on that. Well, all I have to say is that's one of I think it works. Um, Mayla was not made as the only Australian representative for the 128th BASF International Summer School in Germany in 2014. Did you go? Yes. Where was that? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Tudor received the SMI post, well they say RHD now, Postgraduate Student Travel Award, presented a paper in the Flotation Conference in November in Cape Town. It's an annual event, an important one. And then a whole host of extracurricular activities. By any standards, may have satisfied all of and more, all of the qualities, performance characteristics that Ian had in mind when he established the award. So Ian would have been delighted to congratulate you. I congratulate you on behalf of Jake and the Amazon.
I thank Thi for her encouragement and for her passion in the last four years of my life. In the last four years, I would also like, uh, like to acknowledge the special con contribution of Professor Tina Piaman for his insightful feedback and suggestion during my PhD, and also Dr. Kirani for her special um, support in the last stage of my PhD. I also wish, uh, wish to express my appreciation to Francois, to Elaine, and to Cathy for many technical discussions we had which were important for my thesis. And also I want to thank um, Mr. Graham Hayes. He is not here, but he, he always supported me and helped me for the last seven years. I had the honor of studying my, studying my PhD here at the same time as many aspiring students. The multicultural diversity of the JK Center provided an excellent, um, an, an, sorry, an exciting and fulfilling social experience for me. It's been a great pleasure to actively participate in the, the social life of the JK. I would like to thank the past and present staffs and students of JK. Uh, especially, I want to thank Herman, Riza, Vani, Sharin, Hess, Susan, Karen, and Tammy for their support and for the memorable time that we have spent together. I also would like to thank Eugene Lawrence, who was my partner during organizing JK MRC student activity in 2014. Lastly, I want to dedicate this award to my amazingly supportive family, my beloved parents and my siblings for their love, encouragement and absolute confidence in my ability. To Ami, my darling husband, his faith in me was, the, was what forced me to continue this work. Love you. In conclusion, I want to again say how grateful I am to receive this award. In the, in the last decade, the Anmorphy Mori Award became the symbol of excellence in JK Marcy. Every student strives for this award. Now I am one of the winners. Thank you.